Hello, in this second video, we'll take a look uh, to what's inside and see how easy it is to reproduce. So what do we have here? Here you can see an Arduino narrow. Here there are two transformers, one for the power supply and one for uh, voltage sensing. Uh, here you can see a relay uh, whose job is to switch between the two fa the two windings over the current sensing. Uh, here you can see a voltage ref reference, which is uh, use useful for the ADC, ADC and a little. Uh, bit of electronics um, performing filtering and uh, level adjustment um, there are no uh, pieces under high voltage here except uh, these uh, screws and there is uh, protection that helps uh, avoiding electrical shocks On the bottom, you can see that you can program uh, the, the Arduino Narrow without uh, removing it from the box. And you can see uh, U.S. basement. Uh, with, uh, we have two fuses. This one is dedicated to the output and this one is dedicated to the circuit board as you can see there are uh, two circuit boards uh, one main circuit board and one circuit board for the the screen and the, the joypad now we are going to see how easy it is to assemble Uh, this box was uh, misprinted, as you can see here, but uh, it will be useful for a small demonstration. Here you can see uh, it is easy to insert the US basement and the protection. This all is uh, for the fuse, and this one is for uh, the power output. Now let's talk about uh, the integration of the circuit boards. Uh, as you can see, there are four holes for the main board and four holes for the screen board the screen board is easy to to put in place and you just need to um, you just need four screws these are uh, screws whose dimensions are uh, six millimeters for the length and uh, 2.5 millimeters for the diameter Okay, and you can see 
the main board is also easy to integrate. You just have to just you just have to put in place the screws. And as you can see, uh, the screen doesn't have to be adjusted. You cannot uh, misplace it. Now let's talk uh, about the screen. This is a four um, it, um, the controller of the screen have the ability of displaying four gray levels pictures. This screen exists uh, in different sizes. This is the smallest one and here you can see the biggest one. And for those who wish to use a metal box instead of uh, the one uh, I've uh, designed, I also I've also designed a fairing for the integ integration into a metal box. Uh, and uh, once you have placed the four, four screws, you can place the joypad. For the whole project, you need uh, 20 screws. And um, the last point is the top of the top of the box and I'll show you uh, how, it, how it looks like when it's closed. Once uh, the 12 screws are placed The box is a little more uh, rigid. There are no uh, mechanical issues. As you can see. Thank you, goodbye, see you.